Good morning, Marnie here. It is Wednesday morning, the 18th, and I have a couple of finished objects. Um, is it sad that I celebrate the fact that today is, or would have been, Cary Grant's birthday? <laughs> Cary Grant, my all-time favorite actor. I love all of his movies, even the even the ones I dislike, kind of. I still watch just because it's Cary Grant. And I know it's his birthday, and I always remember it's bir his birthday because it's four days before my birthday. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, anyway, I've got my coffee. And on to my finished objects. So, I've got a hat here. It is a Bag o' Day hat. And I will show you what it looks like on my little mannequin. And this, the colorway on this, it, it kind of reminds me, because I am a St. Louisan, it kind of reminds me, not, not completely, because there are some colors that don't really go, but kind of reminds me of St. Louis Blues Hockey. <laughs> I uh, used this this yarn um, a few years ago for something that I made my sister. I don't remember what it was, but then I had one whole roll that I had never used, so I've had it for a while. And this is the uh, Lion Brand Landscapes in the color uh, Twilight. And I didn't even finish watching the video. I mean, the, the hat fits me just fine the way it is. So I don't know how much more I had to go, but that was what I had left, so I didn't have enough to go any further anyway. But the way it is, I like it just the way it is, and it fits me just fine. So there you go. It, it fits. It's perfect. I really like it. Okay, so that's one finished object. And now I can throw this little tuft of yarn somewhere. <laughs> I was saving it so that I wouldn't forget to show it to you. And then my other finished object, now I did the hat yesterday. Um, I started on a cowl last night. And I got the pattern for it, very easy pattern, otherwise I wouldn't have done it because I don't read patterns very good. Um, it is from Crochet World. Uh, this is the uh, October 2021 edition. And it is called the Heidi Scarflet. Now I didn't uh, actually make it that small. Um, I actually turned it into a cowl. Um, to me that was just too it's just it barely covered the neck well mine anyway <laughs> but this is what I did and I will put a picture right here on the mannequin and I got one of those nifty wooden buttons I love these things So uh, for this, and I, I actually sewed it together, so it just goes over the head, and then you know straightened from there. Uh, but uh, I added 20 rows to it because it starts out and it goes this way. It goes the the rows go this way. Um, and there's supposed to be 31 rows and I ended up doing 51 rows and then I added a border to it and the border is just the same as the stitch it's an asymmetrical stitch um, but yeah that is my finished objects so I don't guess I have anything else <laughs> I don't have anything else, so this is going to be a short video today. 
Um, I was going to make uh, hand warmers out of this that I've got left here. I've, I've got a little bit more, I, but I don't know if I actually have enough. I think I said that yesterday to make hand warmers. And I think it's starting to get a, a little tangled. Now I've lost the end somewhere in there in that big pile I just showed you. Because <laughs> I had had one started and it was fitting real loose and I tried it again. It was still real loose uh, around the hand part. Not on my wrist. It was it was perfect on my wrist, but I gave up, <laughs> started something else. So now I'm really wanting to find uh, something, a pattern for the uh, the yarns that I got from Little Knits. So I, sh I showed this a few days ago. This is the uh, uh, LRA DK Merino Superwash. And it is uh, Caterpillar Heather. So I have five of those. I uh, want to find something for this. Uh, and somebody said, yeah, this says it's a three weight. I would say it's more like a, a light four weight. So I would call that more of a light four weight, which is, it's fine. I like it. And the, the other one, I mean, I, I know I showed these already here. I am showing them again, but I, I love them. <laughs> so here was the other one. This is the uh, uh, Cascade Yarns Highland Duo. It is a 70% baby alpaca and 30% merino wool. And Oh my gosh, the smell of this reminds me of my granny's old house. <laughs> mm, yum. So, yeah, I love that. I haven't figured out yet what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. I don't want to open it up too much. I can't really see the, the label. I don't want to. I don't want to totally completely tear it apart <laughs> it'll have to wait I'm not gonna look that deep right now not until I'm ready to open it <laughs> like I said the other day I don't have a yarn swift but I'll make it work <laughs> so this right here is how I made the last hand dyed yarn <laughs> work <laughs> my contraption right here is a toilet paper holder and then just hooks that I usually hang my coffee cups on. <laughs> and this was a hand dyed yarn from uh, from Hobby Lobby. And I got it on clearance. It was my first ever uh, experience with uh, hand dyed yarn. I'd never, I had never bought a uh, yarn that was on a hank and I, I bought it on clearance even even though I didn't really care for the color as much I'm like I don't care I have been wanting a hank of yarn for the longest time just because they're so pretty so yeah that's and I, as I was working it I just undid it very little bit at a time <laughs> and so yeah that's how I made that work it worked out fine I have a, a hat in my bag upstairs that I wear outside that I made with that and I love it absolutely love it it's my favorite hat all right so that's going to do it kind of short video today I'm going to drink my coffee and I think that's it I'm going to probably do some crocheting if I when I figure what I'm going to make next uh, I might uh, finish sewing in the strings on my squares uh, so anyway if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.